How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Need for Speed Heat once again. Today we're doing the first of many customization videos. If you're a watcher of this channel, you'll know that my dream car is the Nissan GTR. I've spent ages on this game grinding all of the ultimate plus parts, all of the max upgrades, and in today's video, we're going to show all of the customization physically possible on this Nissan GTR to well over a thousand horsepower with the standard engine. We don't want any of that engine swap stuff, especially in the Nissan GTR. So at the moment, the GTR's stock. I think it might have a different exhaust tune, but that's it. But we don't care about its stock. We just want to see all of the Nissan GTR's customization. So let's have a look, shall we? We're going to do all the performance mods, all of the cosmetic mods, everything like that right now. So performance, let's max this out. If we go to crankshaft, I believe, yes, the ultimate plus I have. That brings us, I want to bring the horsepower up. There we go, 536 horsepower. Ultimate plus ECU, ultimate plus cooling, exhaust, oh yes. Now the turbo, um, oh, oh, there we go. 1,008 horsepower. Just like that. We can engine swap it if we want to up to a 6.5 litre V12, which we can probably get a lot of horsepower out of, but it's a GTR. We've already got, as I said, 1,008 horsepower. Two elites. Now, obviously there's not much time to spend on the performance modding. We've just gone straight to the 1,000 horsepower mark. It is the visual customization that I'm interested in. So, where do we start? I, yes, I thought there was. There are item part sets, and I believe I had one of these on. This one. Was it this one? This one. Yes. Now, what on earth? Look at that. That is hideous. Why would you have that? Um, we'll do the wheels after. What about the skirts? I like those. We'll pop those on. There's an absolutely monumental amount of oh, exhaust tips. Yeah, we're gonna go for the speed hunters. This is what Forza Horizon needs. There is just a stupid amount of stuff to choose. There's oh my ooh. Go you know, for blacked out. I think I did prefer them. Rear bumper. Now I've already done a little bit of customization on this, but not not much. Ah, oh, looking good, rear fenders. Oh yes, I wish you could just zoom out. Yes, that's everything apart from the wheels. I'd like to change the wheels. Brake discs, oh my God, you can change the brake discs. That's crazy. Can you change the calipers? You can change the calipers. <laughs> How mad would you be if I left these rims on? There's not many probably just keep the rims stock really, couldn't I? Well, I mean, I, mean, I like those, those are smart. I think that's all the rims done. See, I don't know, because it makes them a really weird... We'll see what it looks like out on the road before we fiddle with that even more. Although I do agree the tyres are a bit weird at the moment. Ooh, no, I'm liking the red. If we go for metallic, metallic red, that's, that's amazing. Metallic green is also amazing. Let's go for red. There we are. Now, effects. Now, I haven't touched any of these since I've had the game. This is all new to me. I have had a look through it. Nitrous colour. What's going to go good with red? Probably red. Tire smoke. Let's go red. <laughs> underglow. Now I, now, I only knew that underglow was in the game yesterday thanks to Black Panther. Now, have you actually got to buy these to preview them? Oh. Pfft. That just sounds like the Nissan GTR's launch control. It's not working now. We'll go for the truck one. I mean, who doesn't like a good truck horn? That's loads of stance. No, we don't want to do that. I was just giving it camber. I can't imagine how many angry comments I would get if I put the camber up to the top. 
We don't want to do that. Now exhaust sound, I believe, yeah, it's already all raw. Now, although I've driven a modified GTR on this game before, I've never driven the fully upgraded Nissan GTR on this game before. This is my first try. We're going to do a sound test, a speed test, not to 200 maybe. We'll see what it's like. Oh, listen to the turbo. I love that. I like that. And 20 already. Now, a thousand horsepower on this game isn't as fast as a thousand horsepower on, let's say, Horizon 4. Comparison video coming tomorrow for that. It sounds so nice. Oh, I forgot about that. I don't know. I don't actually know how to activate the underglow. That's embarrassing. Oh, the car looks a bit weird in shine like this. Let's see if we can do a top speed somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. Hey up copper, I'm only going 200 miles an hour. Shut up Anna, I'm trying to admire the GTR's exhaust sound. Through the tunnel and into the city and seeing what speed we can get up to. Uh, Remember to change gear, Jake, that'd help. Activate the nitrous again after crashing. Let's try that again. Here we go out the tunnel, don't crash in 23. Nitrous! I think we've maxed it out. Is that 235? What's the top speed supposed to be? 233. Oh, yeah, we did max it out. Oh, God. Get away. Get the stupid menu away. 235 miles an hour, I believe we reached then, in a 1008 horsepower GTR. I'm really tempted to engine swap it and just see what it's like, but we don't want to engine swap a GTR, do we? Now, something I do need to admire and give a lot of attention to on this game is this. Listen to the idle sound of the Nissan GTR. Just listen. I can't explain to you how realistic that is. That is such an incredible, that is such a good idle sound. They have nailed that on the bob. On the bob? On Yeah, on the bob. There's the underglow. I was wondering if I had to go to the night to see it. Now, I actually want to try and... Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is what you want from an arcade racer. Just pure, pure chaos. Look at that. Look at the GTR in there. Oh, and that in the background. That's a pretty cool thumbnail. I might use that as a thumbnail, actually. Damn, that nitrous is nasty. I'm going to try a very quick circuit race somewhere in the city. 1000 horsepower GTR, what's it? The only thing I don't like about the GTR is it does not drift easily. It's probably my fault for having all of the track stuff and the racing stuff on it. But um, if you want to go around a corner, you have to proper smash on that handbrake. Or it will refuse. And that's not good. It doesn't massively feel like a thousand horsepower it feels more like 800 just try to say flat out around there took that a bit wide but we're still in front we are miles in front i don't know what the recommended car level was as i said this is my first need for speed game ever so you'll have to excuse me if my driving is a bit bizarre if you notice anything I should do differently, actually, please let me know in the comment section below. Go away, copper boy. And across the line. Right, well, guys, as I was saying, this was the first of the many customization builds that are coming to this channel. And as you've seen, I've been saving up nearly 3 million credits now to buy a proper hypercar. 
and do that up because this GTR is the only car I've actually bought on this game at all with credits apart from that M3 starter car in the background. So in the comments below make sure to suggest all sorts of hypercars and supercars to buy and upgrade. I've got everything on lot now and I've got credits to spend. Let's do it. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content and we'll see you all later.